when you're tired of the normal, go to pricecustoms.com and get you a shirt, a hat, decals. decals. We got some more stuff coming. You're about to see it soon. So make sure you go pricecustoms.com. Welcome back, guys. We're ready to get started back on this most powerful burnout car on the planet. The abandoned Camaro. The abandoned Camaro. Rowdy Randall. Yeah. That's what we're calling her. I mean, because she's going to be rowdy when we're done with her. Oh, yeah. I mean, done with him. It's him. That's it's right. him, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, what we want to do is uh, get the car over on the concrete more so we can work under it. And we want to try to get, we got the doors buttoned up. We'd like to get those patch panels put on the back. The dog legs. I'm going to take that chrome off the other side so we can totally fasten these and where they go. And then I got another radiator over there. We're going to see if it, it's the same size as this. We got a lot of work to do. A lot. We'll start buttoning up the front of this thing, paint a few pieces, and get to work right here, guys. Let's do it. So let's move it. ask me moving a car by hand is for the birds it's difficult yeah but i mean we had a big metal problem on a hill on a hill because we were leaning that way and that way yeah so it was a job right there so what we need to do i guess is finish mounting these up take that chrome off over there and uh what you want to start an up hatch panel or do you want to get the bolts and start patching this front together. It do doesn't matter. Whatever we could do first, we'll, we'll do it. Let's get to work. All right, guys. Well, Hunter's going to start getting this prepared. This might be the best bet, really. Well, I mean, I'm just going to do that because I don't want to put deep scratches in it. Oh, this is feel of it. It's probably better than that. Yeah. But uh, we need, we need, I'm glad we're doing this because that roof is getting bad. So we're so going gonna to start sanding on this. Start scuffing it up, getting it ready for our next step. So, uh, Hunter's gonna work on the grill. Yep. And then uh, we're just gonna start working on the car all together. Yeah, we'll see about getting that put together. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Hopefully in this video that grill will be mounted in there. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna throw it on a time lapse because that's basically all y'all can see is us doing a time lapse because real time would be very boring. Yes. So let's get to it. guys if you can tell we're in a mad dash it's getting dark look at that awesome sunset right there that is cool we gotta we're cleaning off this top because it's rusted we need to spray some primer on it to protect it and we got some filler primer so i mean it'll fill in the pits yeah i mean that's the reason we don't we're only putting primer on the parts that are rusted rusted just so it will have a better chance of having the same sheen shade of color yeah and but it's looking good and we got this side's pretty scuffed up but we're not painting the body today we're just hit trying to hit this rust spot up top and we yeah. probably won't even make it to the trunk today oh no, it's getting dark so we'll yeah. have to come back probably tomorrow and get it but i mean we're trying to get this prepped so hopefully Guys, we're trying to get this thing done maybe first. next video we, we could paint the whole car yeah that'd be nice so and, but guys we're not only just going to paint it because you'll watch as this series goes on, this car will become something special. Yes. You'll see what we have planned for it. I mean, it's going to be sweet, so just stick along for the ride. Yeah. It's just going to get better Look from at the here. Look the blue coming out of it right there. Can yeah, you no. pick it up with Cameron? Yeah. I kind of wish we could leave it patina and use that stuff from Viscript that we got. Yeah, but I think what we're going with is, is going to be pretty sweet. I mean, because... I would say better. I'm going to say it's going to be cool for us. Yeah, it's what we want. Yeah. And that's what is important right now. Because <laughs> we're, we're, we like this color, but we have a better color picked out. Yeah. So let's uh, clean this off a little more and then get to spraying. 
All right, guys, let's hit the coat of this primer on here, see if it's going to feel. We're trying to not hit the glass as much as we can. I thought it shook up pretty good. I think that's going to turn out pretty good. So I'm hmm. going to throw it on a time lapse. All right. Because it's like watching paint be sprayed. How late it is. guys that's gonna be it for today we got the top primered and hopefully had to protect it a little bit i had a drip of sweat so i'm gonna have to put another coat probably sand that little spot and hit there a little bit there. or maybe the color will cover it yeah probably but what i'm gonna have to do when i paint this is wear a long sleeve shirt because you sweat a lot and then you drip yeah. over it and it'll get on the yeah, paint yeah th then i started learning i just wipe my arm real quick then spray then wipe my arm then spray but if you have a long sleeve you don't have to yeah so uh um, that's it i mean i guess the next thing we'll do next is probably do the trunk so we can protect it maybe or we might jump on to putting these dog legs on yeah because we gotta we gotta do these official patch panels oh yeah get it looking right but, but look guys that looks better with it just not even uh rusty rusty anymore yeah it looks pretty good should uh, we shouldn't primer the whole car no but uh i have enough primer to do the trunk and hit these rust 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 spots spots so the paint will lay better so um I guess we'll see you again tomorrow. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to get back on this. And, Sorry uh, about the wind. The storm is coming. Yeah, we'll see, look up that way. We're, yeah, it's no, dark. It's, well, you can see it over here. Yeah, it's getting we're dark. We're racing against a, a storm, guys. We're we're here for y'all. We're going to get started on this. We got some cool stuff coming for this car. Oh, yeah. We're, we'll let you see here in a minute. But we're going to get started, try to get this hot rod burnout car put back on the road. We got it sanded, as you saw earlier. Yeah, look at this. This right here. It turned out good. Cool. Look at all the ants. Yeah, there's ants all over the same back. Some of the good. rust came through, but that, it was just to get it smooth, and it's smooth. Yeah, now it's smooth, ready for the rust-protected paint. Yes. So what we're gonna have to do is open this door. Hopefully no bees fly out at us. I don't think there's any in this thing. We need to get some WD and spray that thing. I don't think so. So hold up there and see what we're what we're, what we're like. having. The issue that we're having is the panel's too big. Well, it's made to, I don't know. Well, it's just got to be cut a little bit and dropped. I think it's like right in there. Well, we got to look at that body line. Yeah. I'll have to shut the door, won't I? Yeah, but we can't shut the door, I don't think. You so, see the body line right there? You gotta line that up. Right here? Yep, with the other body line on the panel. Like that. I'll have to get a Sharpie probably and do the marks. The, the, yeah, let's get that and we'll see if what we need to cut away and then we'll get to cutting. All right, guys, first we're gonna have to do our rust per Preventative. Yep. On this one, we're using high quality yeah, header paint. We're using paint. high heat because the fire is going to be coming off these tires. Really? It's the only black paint we had. <laughs> no, we're going to have fire coming hey, off. Hey, you got to mark the sign, so. Hard to Okay. I didn't that yeah, make sure you get that spot real good. And guys, if the wind's unbearable, we are sorry. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it is building hot rods outside. The wind, garage is plumb full with, you know, the other hot rods. Yeah, the other hot rods. <laughs> hey. You can only do what you can do. The burnout car is the outside car. Yeah. And uh, what well, I believe, if you look at this, I think this had some kind of trim here. It did. But it looks like to line it up is right up to that. Is that body line lined up? Right there's the mark. The mark. Right it looks the too. Line. I mean, it's at the angle. See? Right there. Right there. Right with it. Yeah, but you're gonna have to cut that bottom. I'm gonna have to cut the bottom. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit right here too. Yeah. So let's get to work. Let's cut it. You wanna feel me cutting it? Hey, those cutters are pretty good. Yeah, they're all right. Better than the other ones we had. Yeah. Way better. We have the electric ones, but I just don't fuck. Like... Let's see what's going on here. 
there it goes it's just a little bit right here on this rounded part it was hitting yeah so you know the next yeah. test be after we get this on if the door shuts or not yeah that's the truth <laughs> That should we tight. uh should we try to shut the door? Oh, you gotta cut that bottom. I gotta cut a little more of this too. We Once we cut that bottom, we'll hold it and then try to shut the door and see if it'll work. One thing, guys, you should wear gloves doing this stuff. Yeah, you should, but but you know I sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Sharp. Right you gonna hold that down there and move your body so I can shut this door. Watch your leg, I don't wanna hit you. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> we got WD-40 at door. Did it leave a mark on that? On the bottom? No. Oh, I mean, this gotta be in the end a little. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do is get her, oh, you didn't, if you, Get our high quality Man, fasteners out. On top of things. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this build. I'm trying to get this thing ready. What we want to do is get this one lined up the best we can get it. Ah. Are you gonna need me to hold it? Um, ow. Sharp. I believe I can do it. I just wouldn't hold my hand right. Bam. I knew yeah. I could. It just, take me a second. I'm going to do, um. Right here? Yeah. Which is going to create a crease in, but that's okay. Where is it going to create it at? I'm saying once we tighten that part down with that gap, it's just going to. Oh no, it bent pretty good. I was about to say, this thing's a custom body panels, man. Oh yeah, it works out good. You build a hot rod, you make it look like a fighter jet. It's gonna- <laughs> You went a little low on that one. Yeah, I'm doing it with the contour of the- Of whatever you feel like. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I might take it and back out and redo it. No, it's okay. How about right there? Sounds good. Make it look halfway. Like I done it on purpose. Yeah. That's lining up pretty good though. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I think That's... we should do every car like this. Yeah, I mean, every car that needs to be. So what I need to do now is probably get the one or two right in here. Yeah, just to hold it back. Yeah, this is pretty epic. This is, I was like, what was that? Uh, metal work at its finest. After five said we should open up a body shop. After five knows this well. Yes, he does. <laughs> Are you going to need my help on that one? Yeah, I might need it. So I'm going to have to sit down the camera for a second. We I'm need a body hammer too. I'm going to throw it on time lapse so you guys can see what we're doing. Yeah, and get a body hammer. Sounds good. guys well we got this one on it looks good it looks good but i've had to put some screws in places i really didn't want to but hey that's where it goes because Tell someone why. done a freaking excellent job on bondo on the it looked like inner metal. well yeah whenever you tap that in there it broke loose it was all yeah someone you can shaped it. it perfect just right like back this. here all this through here is bondo that busted away i mean someone done a, is a great artist and yeah. did a great job on that but hey we got that one on up. This side's almost buttoned up. Sorry about the wind, guys, but you know how it is. Just talk up a little more. We're going to have to go to the other side, take that old trim off, get this other dog leg on, and then this side's about ready. Right I'm going to step back and show the full view. What's it? What's it look like? Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good to me. It looks like a hot rod. 
Yeah, it does. And it looks real good. Yeah, so let's get this piece, get to the other side, get to work on that one, get that trim off, get it all buttoned up. Try to get the front on. Before this storm gets Before here. Yeah, because I mean, it's getting dark. It's coming. Let's go. All right, guys, we got to get this trim off so it'll match the other side. You're using that little snap on screwdriver we got from those two toolboxes. Yeah, that's a good little screwdriver. See, we didn't get a butt in this side up because of this trim. The wind's my picking goodness. up. Guys, we gotta hurry and beat the tornado. It's blowing stuff in my eyes. We just gotta find all the screws. What did they just put two, two screws in? I have no clue. <laughs> Try pulling off there and see what happens. <clears throat> There we go. Now you can see the where the screws are. There we go. Now we can get rid of this. That trim was shot anyways. Oh yeah. I don't what in the world? Is it not Phillips? I don't think so. What is it? I don't know, look at it. You might have to get the camera down there. Here, you're gonna have to watch out. So I can get over there. And let me see. Oh, they're bolts. Are they? It looks like maybe quarter drive. All right. So I'm going to go get that and we'll take it apart. All right, we're going to get started on this rust treatment. The best rust treatment there is. Rust-Oleum. Yeah, you can't beat it. What? I like bike rims. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do right there. So I need to get that body panel over here. Oh, I forgot to grab it. That's the one thing I forgot to grab. I'm glad I grabbed it. The wind was about to blow it off. That wind's super strong. Yeah, it's pretty bad, ain't it? It's like... I want to try to get this... I have to cut a little bit on that bottom. Yeah, just cut it. Thank goodness for body hammers. This one's a little bigger, like the bin. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. These are not the best body fit. panels. Dang, in the face. Almost. I have uh, spider like reflexes. I thought it was like cat like reflexes. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking of spiders because they're all over this thing. You want me to grab the drill real quick? Here you go. You got a hold of that? Yep. Did it move? Yep. Body lines is great. It meant perfect. I almost just fell over. <laughs> Did you? The wind almost took me down. It's like getting really, really, really windy. Hey, perfect. Hey, this, oh, look at this side down here. It has the Bondo as well. The Bondo effect. Hey, they did pretty good though. I mean, you would never know that was Bondo unless you know. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know until you know. Okay, body hammer. Body hammer. You just gotta massage this stuff and make it work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Dude, if you if you didn't if you didn't do this for a living, you would never know how to do this. All I'm saying is there's no way better to put together a car than with self tappers. Self tappers and duct tape and uh oh. You hear that thunder? Did I hear thunder? Beautiful. Self tappers in a dream, that's all you need. Yeah. We're gonna do some Massaging right there, though. That's right, this just, one. It's just gone. Just totally gone. Here, I'm gonna have to hit that up here. Hand me that hammer. Perfect. Here, let me see it. I gotta do something a little bit right here. Sound 
sounded like I was playing music. I know. This one's fitting up pretty good. This one's doing better, except for right here. If you could see this. Oh, oh man. What in the world? Dust them off. I think I ate. You ate rust? I think I ate a spider. Let's get through the bondo so I know where I can hit. So probably I'm gonna have to go all the way up here. Like you did on the other one. That is insane. Hey, if only a couple self tappers won't hold it, welding never would. Beautiful. Guys, let us know what you think about our expert body work. I, I could teach a class on how to massage things into place. You know, hit it with a hammer. And hope for the best. Yeah, man, we gotta beat this storm, guys. We have got to beat this storm. Then we might move inside and work on the, something for this too. Yeah, maybe that grill. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully. Tap a little right there. There we go. Done. That's what you call done. That is what you call patch panel. We got that cut out of the way. We'll have to get something to get those bolts out. But we got it out of the way right now. The car's sitting on a lean because the tires. So we might have an answer for that. So, yeah, maybe in this video? Yeah, but I think we might move it or just bring one out here and uh, lay it up here and let them see what, what, what we're What wheels we're going with? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Man, do I look like a hot rod owner or what? Yeah. But there's the wheels we plan on going with, guys. There. The 15 inch Z28 wheels. Yeah, for a burnout car, you need something cool. So we thought a Z28 wheels are perfect. Plus, they came with the car. Yeah, and they look really good. Well, they look good. So, but we're not gonna leave them that color. No, we don't like the orange. No, not for so, this field. So, guys, it's getting, it's getting close, guys, and it's thundering. So, you know what they say? Where there's thunder, there's lightning. There's lightning. So, what we need to do is get these inside get to work on them and on the inside barrel on the barrel part yeah try to keep it we're going to try to clean that where up the bead is yeah because we want it to seal well and we have a surprise we're gonna try <laughs> we're gonna try something guys so let's get in here and get to work all right guys to start working on this we done popped the one off this one so we need to take these beauty rings off because if we get some wheels ain't no way of putting tires them off. yeah i mean tires ain't no way of putting them on with the, the beauty ring on with it. the beauty ring so we gotta get them off. They're beat up, but you know, it's a burnout car. It ain't gonna matter for us. And you know how much these wheels go for? A lot of money. Dude, we got a gold mine sitting out here. And we're gonna be using it as a burnout car. Yeah. Our burnout wheels are Z28 wheels. OEM Z28 wheels. Yeah, these are OEM, yeah. They, they used to be black, I think. Yeah. Someone paint them orange. Orange looks cool. It all depends what color your car is, I guess. With the color we're going with on the car? It's orange ain't gonna look right. Orange ain't gonna look good. I think it's ready to pick, yep, pick up. All right, well, you know, that goes where the valve stand is. Yep. <laughs> Might have to do some massaging on that of hair. Eh. But look how they look how they lock on. Yeah, with little clips. Little clips. Uh, so when you get this cleaned this up. This is a unique design, how it's made. I never saw them I've before. never seen these. Well, the I valve mean, stem comes through here, and we got valve stems on three out of the four. Yeah, we thought we were going to have to buy all these valve stems, but luckily we found out we don't. So I'm going to grab this drill and... Uh, and we're going to get that work on cleaning these up. Guys, it's good that we have a garage we can come into to do some things for this uh, Camaro because, you, you know, it's thunder. It's going to be a bad one. You can see sweat dripping off of me. That's how humid it is here in Tennessee. It's been real hot. It's been bad here lately. And for some reason, I've been sweating more this year than I ever have in my life. Now, who knows? Who knows? I mean, so what we're going to do is clean, just get some of the junk off this. Off the face of it. Then we're going to take a wire wheel to the inside, the, out the barrel where the tires mount up to the bead. That just gets rid of some of the... I might wax and grease remove it too because I want to see how it looks. What is that? The, you want me to tell you what kind of leaf that is? Uh, 
We might not be able to say on YouTube, but People, look at this. People, look lead. at that and tell me what that is. <laughs> Japanese maple? Maybe. Maybe. Or something else. <laughs> but guys, what we're going to do now is what the most important part to this is to get the edges through here. Where the bead's going to... Where the bead goes. We need to get that pretty clean so it will seal good. Because, man, this car is going to be a fun car. So I put this on real tight last time. There we go. I couldn't get even the wire wheel off of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I smoked it on there, but because I didn't want to fly off and hit you when he was doing yeah. that. But uh, hopefully, we can get these. We have these tires in mind. If it works out, it's gonna be pretty funny. This will be the most epic burnout car you've ever seen in your life. Yes. If the wheels work that we're trying to put on this thing. Yeah. Well, tires. Yeah, tires. The wheels too, though. Well, the wheels I mean, will these work. These are Z twenty eight. The same bolt pattern. Epic. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna clean up real good. Let me just set it down there and get it good. Yeah, just knock out. They're just real dirty. It's just dirt and a little bit of rust. I mean, these were kept outside under a barn. Yeah, these have barn dust on it. This was another barn find. The wheels were. I think the whole car was. It was in the barn. It was, technically. Let's get rid of that. There's before, and there's after. There's but a big there difference. Is there a big difference? Yeah, look at it. Oh, wow, yeah. So we're gonna keep on working on these and then catch back up with you guys. Guys, I, we got it set up right here, ready to go. We're not gonna show you exactly the tire yet that we're putting on these wheels, because we want it to kind of be a surprise, but you might tell by some, you, you know. You might see the thumbnail and tell, but the thumbnail, we're but trying to build suspense. We're trying to. So guys, we're gonna jump on these, get put on, then we'll go out here and put them on a the car, and then we'll show, see what you think. So let's get to so it. So let's get to it. Man, check these things out. We got our new wheels and tires. Hey guys, that's, that's awesome right there. Um, Those were the tires off my Jeep. Yeah. They were 15s. We had some we're 15 wheels. Where we're not getting this thing stuck when we get it running. Oh, yeah. And it looks good. That fitment's perfect. Yes. It looks like, if you look at it from down here, it like looks it, pretty it awesome. It looks like a drag car. It's pretty cool, guys. Now, uh, what I was thinking is, what was I thinking? We got to do the, put, yeah, we got to do, do the other, other side. One. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go put on the other one and, uh, and put the tire that, tire that kept air on the front up here so it can be set level. Because, man, we got rained out yesterday. That storm called us well, as soon as we got that on. So, uh, let's get in here and check it out. Yep. these off before so hold on that's not the right size I wrong size I forget man. it has that one odd one one small size on it you know one thing about that that's hard to get on there might help when you have it in loosen I know but you know me I gotta try it three or four times so we won't be using this one since it's a flat tire no we'll We'll put it on the side of the building. We'll put it in our file. In our tire file. Ah. What's le leaking air? It's the tire. This there tire? Yeah. It's filling up with air. That is crazy. 
It's not flat anymore. It's an instant. <laughs> it gets non-flat when there's no weight on it. <laughs> Just sucks air in. Oh my gosh, honey. We can go up more? Mm hmm I mean, get it up more. Jack it up more. Oh, it's hard doing this one-handed. All right, that should do it. I like the way this thing already looks. <laughs> this is how you build a hard rod. Oh. Yeah, I tell you what, things are heavy. <laughs> yeah, that thing's balancing on a jack, so be careful. Well, we're safe now. Is that that little one? No. no. Those are some weird looking lug nuts. I know, I do not understand. I'm excited to get this on so we can get sit it down and do the front and then it'll be sitting how it's supposed to sit. Yeah, look guys, this is exciting to us. We probably have something very exciting coming. Yeah, something very exciting coming to the channel. We'll let you know a little more in a minute. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. But these lug nuts are like super extended. I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe they're not even for this. They sure do hug pretty good though. Now you gotta switch that small socket. Ah. That retaining ring makes it a little difficult. It does, but at least the thing will fall off. This one's just so <clears throat> messed up. not it's going to become part of the tire we'll have to get a hammer out here once we get on the ground go ahead and let it down i'm gonna try to, here hold the camera stand up here and hold no, the i'm camera. gonna let them watch it come down like right here let me get up here oh. all right hang on go ahead boom well, she's tucked under there there it is <laughs> That's Thanks hilarious. Back angle looks cool. Here, take it to him, show him. Yeah, let me show you guys this back angle I'm seeing. It looks pretty cool. Let me go wide angle so you can see. Look at that. That looks meaty. Just ignore <laughs> all the rust and look at the tires. <laughs> it's, it's a process. We're not made it back there yet. So now we got to move to the front because we have an aired up tire right here. We're gonna put on where that flat one is, so let's yeah. get to it. Yeah. Working on a hill makes this difficult with the jack. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. Hopefully, we scotched it up good enough back there. If not, we'll see soon enough. The Jeep will know. Yeah, the Jeep will catch it. Hey, when I get it off there enough, get that scotch out from underneath that wheel. I will. Put it back. Alright, she should be able to get it. No, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it right there just in case. Oh, this one don't have to be as high. No. But look at the antifreeze, look at the coolant coming out. I know, it just pours out of there all over our jack. It's looping it up for us. Yeah. Is there a small one on this one or no? Mm -hmm. They all have. They all have. I wonder one. if it's factory that way. Probably. Since they all have that. Every time. That yeah. little one is the roughest. Maybe it's just for the kind it is. Who knows? Should have brought two impacts, sped this up. Yeah. We do have many. I don't know. My goodness. Just take your time. If you go slow, you'll get it. How about just beads on there? So you hit heard me. Tires rolling. <laughs> Who would have known this little impact would be this good? I know. I heard reviews on it. Now let's get rid of that flat one. Is there a wire back there? Yeah. 
That didn't feel too good, did it? This breaks, man. That's one good thing. And it barely, we have to get Ooh, pat, New pads. rotors, too, probably. Oh, no. Once you hit the brakes a couple times. Just look at, uh, don't look at that. <laughs> Just ignore that. Yeah. Pretend you did not see that. Brake cleaner, we'll fix it. That's why I said these brakes will be at 30%. I don't even know if it'll be at that now. I'm going to hit zero, honestly. Okay, where are you? Where are you? It's nice that uh, we had two aired up ones of these. Yeah. I see you. I see you. Now get on there. Is that it? Yeah. I guess so. That's what I did. Just impact them on there. That was straightened out that way. You can't get it to go. Impact them. Impact it. See? The small, the small one and then we can sit this thing down and see how it looks yeah i'm excited about that part i'll tell you what i don't like these little ones though they've like seen better days yeah and that one always gets stuck There we go, now we can let it down. Hammer time. Oh. We'll let it down, then we show you guys. Yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna do something cool about this car, aren't we, Hunter? We got air ride. Air ride, come on. Go. Just go. Go. Keep going. You don't wanna go too much. Oh, look at the raise, dude. Go a little bit. A little it says bit. It's got 80 pounds of pressure in it. Really? Yeah. Probably wanna stop right there then. But it clear it gives you the clearance you need. Yeah, hey, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Dude, what do you think, guys? Comment uh -oh. down below about Comment our down. burnout car. What do you think? What do you think? I think it looks pretty good, but do you Look think we went me. a little too high? No, like, that's perfect. With that pressure? No, it'll leak down. So I think it has a small leak. Hey, it'll, that looks really cool. Is that a cool car or what? That looks like it's ready to go for a rally. Let's look at the back. Did you already show that view? I did, but now it's jacked up. Yeah, now it's the... Oh, man, look. That look at all cool. that rust. Yeah. Hey, there's a seat belt hanging down through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is so awesome. You know what's going on this car? You know what's going on this car. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying. Let's look at this, though. That's perfect fitment. Hey guys, we're gonna tell you, maybe not next video, hopefully, maybe, we Here's can get same. started on a certain things on this because we got something cool. Maybe a new... Power plant. Maybe. Hey, we'll go check it out because we're gonna go check it out right here in a minute. Yep. Um, because we wanna get the first stages and we wanna get this thing moving around. Is that 350? We'd have to spend a lot of money to get to build it. Guys, and we said we're doing this on a budget. We're trying to beat Po Bar and Garage. And our buddy has, has an engine that he's gonna let, Dude, uh, go we'll for a good deal know, we'll let you know how much it is in a, later but we're gonna be putting a, a v8 a small chevy small block in this thing and i'm excited and it, it already runs it already runs like it's in a car right now and we're gonna be taking it out putting it in this that'll be fun dude and i'm excited i want to drive with these on here we will oh we will we won't try to roast them because no it, because that might mess up the rear end, end but it'll be something to cruise around take it to the cruise in and see what people have to say <laughs> with the orange and blue black <laughs> just see what they say that'd guys. be funny and the inside looking like it does i mean we're gonna vacuum that top though oh yeah need but guys to. let us know what you think about this car does that look pretty cool how our body panels are looking we got that off we're, we're, we'll get these buttoned up next one but we're not putting the front end on just in case we get that power plant because then we'd have to it'd be easier if we took it back off yeah for not the fenders just that front valence so we have more room yeah, to work. Yeah, because what we're thinking is how we're going to do this. I mean, 
one thing is we can't do it on the if hill we did get it up like turned like this and right in here we could do it right here but it still would be a little sketchy it still wouldn't be it's downhill it's still, yeah but not as bad from here back is okay back there is perfect but if we could get it that close if we can get it there we might have to do it that way but we'll see because i mean i'm excited guys and guys remember it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little and i'll dream big because i serve a big god Guys, make sure you like, subscribe. Tell your friends to like and subscribe. Follow the Abandoned Camaro series. Abandoned Camaro. Look where it is now, guys. Abandoned Camaro burnout build. Part two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, we're going we're gonna to do some stuff. Hopefully, the, the storm got us where we couldn't work on our body anymore, which is fine. It, it I, turned us in a cooler direction. Yeah, I mean, dude, how can you beat that? I mean, <laughs> mudders, they're mud train tires on a camaro yeah then we got slicks we're gonna really pop a wheelie <laughs> hey we might just think in sand down the knobs and then there you go slicks <laughs> but guys let us know what you think about this build it's it's fun for us we enjoy doing it we we love doing this kind of stuff but we love the camaro we love this camaro guys is abandoned it was gave up on we almost gave up on it we thought about but guys, it guys you know it's nothing's too far gone nope no no one's too far gone so don't give up on people and don't give up on your cars definitely don't give up on yourself and don't give up on yourself thanks for watching guys see you next time peace